Hi everyone, my name is Kiran, and today we are going to uh, like uh, last session we understand about you know a uh, lot of variety of certification, but we'll try to one by one um, in the especially today we are going to discuss about specialty certifications. On that certification, what type of um, uh, skills we are we will get it and which certification we need to write and get the certification from Microsoft. And due to that, what type of you know knowledge or skills or how is a useful for our uh, real time scenarios and everything, it's uh, we'll try to understand in this session, guys. Okay, so first of all, I already opened, this is a Microsoft uh, Train Sat poster. This is a Sat poster under this, all certification related uh, details is available that exam code and uh, name of that exam and all the details is available. So especially one by one, we'll look into that and what skills we are going to learn and how is a useful, we'll try to understand here. Uh, today, I'm going to show you specialty related, especially specialty related exams, Microsoft related. I'm zooming here, you can see guys. And here, specialty, deepen your technical skills and manage industry solutions manage industry solutions under that we can see especially this is a azure related track this is a azure related track and dynamic 365 and microsoft 365 related uh, specialty exams is available so one by one we'll look into that first we'll try to understand the azure for sap workloads SAP workload specialty exam. This exam ID is a AG120, 120 otherwise. So this is an exam and or if you learn this course, so what knowledge or what skills you will gain it. So let's here jump into this one. I open and you can see especially certification details and few details you can see guys, warning, Arabic, Indonesian and Russian versions of this exam will retire on February 28, 2023. That is a, especially for this specific languages wise, it's going to retire on February 28, 2023 guys. And in this exam, and especially uh, who are suitable or prereq sites wise, what is this exam and who can learn and who will gain and what type of skills and knowledge or experience you will get it. Especially Microsoft saying that candidates for this certification should be architects or engineers with the extensive experience and knowledge of SAP systems who are already working on SAP systems, SAP systems in on-premises, SAP landscape or industry standards wise who are already working on SAP system that SAP engineers or SAP architects can learn and they will get the, they can upgrade their skills into Azure platform. Azure platform, especially in this course, already, you know, SAP related application, SAP ANA and um, S4 ANA, SAP Netware, BW4 ANA and OS servers, SAP application, database, all the things, it's uh, how we can migrate it from on-premises to Azure platform or set up the uh, greenfield environment. Greenfield means starting. It's a new build wise how to do it. Obviously, SAP migration, it won't lift and shift, guys. It won't support the lift and shift. Obviously, greenfield wise, like we have to set up the new servers and after that, install the that relevant applications and integration and everything after that migrate the data that way generally it will happen in the sap especially and who are working already in on-premises they are that company is planning to migrate to the azure platform especially that sap guys needs to learn and get the certification it's a very very valuable guys and who are already working on this okay and in this exam what they are going to learn what knowledge they will get it on this you can see here the English language version of this certification will be updated on January 30 and 2023. So that means new changes. Some like it's a minor changes, guys. It's not very big changes. Some changes is uh, going to update in this course. This exam ID is a uh, AG120. AG120, guys. Once we write this exam 
and what certification we can get it what uh, cert we will get it batch that is a microsoft certified azure for sap workload specialty in this what generally learn on this migrate sap workloads to azure how to migrate on premises or aws or something any place to migrate to the azure platform that is a one thing and design and implement infrastructure support sap workloads on azure platform so how to design how to implement that infrastructure sap especially sap purpose how to implement and how to support how to integrate these all those things will learn in azure platform as well as design and implement high availability and disaster recovery ha and dr these two solutions also will learn and what type of uh, services how to integrate it how to configure and clustering and disaster recovery within the region or different region and availability zone availability set which application is supported which operating system especially operating system also in marketplace all uh, type of operating system it won't support it specific images only we should use it for sap workloads what are those images and uh, even we have to uh, look into that sap related is a uh, what they are supporting what microsoft supporting and everything we can learn from this course even maintain sap workloads on azure platform already existing environment how to monitor how to troubleshoot it and a few of the things we we'll learn from this course guys this is a ag 120 this is a especially job role administrator or solution architect for that we uh, those people can learn get the more knowledge or upgrade their skills in azure platform guys so here you can see below if you go to two ways we can prepare it one is a self paced that self paced wise microsoft given the each and every module related that related all the topics what exam topics is a you can see guys there is a one topic there is a entirely one module or one chapter like that you can see here that related explore azure for sap workloads sap workloads under that five modules is available and same like explore the foundation of ias for sap on azure four modules like that these all modules if you learn you will get the very good knowledge guys if you are not uh, uh, self learn based guys so you can go with the instructor lead uh, learning and this is a separately it's a third party outside so many microsoft uh, certified partners is available they are delivering the like you know trainings on this and you can learn from that you can learn from that so that is a one instructor lead and self paced means microsoft is a providing documentation wise it's a some of the uh, questions also knowledge check they will provide it and we can learn and it's a entirely kind of reading so you can see here click on start before that i will show you give me minute and here exam cost in india especially 4800 rupees and it's not include the gst and exclude the gst wise is a 4800 and depends on which country you are from and you can choose it and you can understand the what is the cost on that country and how to schedule the exam directly you can schedule the exam from this place and pearson view through that you can write the exam official practice tests also is available so if you are already working in any one of the company and that company already certified partner with the microsoft already partnership with the microsoft those people can go to here esi.microsoft.com and in this you can provide sign in uh, now and you can provide the your company email id your company email id if you provide it and provide the password yes you will get the very good practice test learning and you can uh, schedule the online learnings and live sessions and all those things is are available guys this is a esi.microsoft.com this is a one of the site if you are company already partnership with the microsoft definitely you can able to log in if you are no, uh, your company not partnership definitely you can't able to log in guys you can't able to log in it won't support the your personal mail id even you can try to do some personal mail id it won't work guys it won't work so this is a one thing and um, you will get the batch and after that this is a one and go to jump into here self paced learning and click on start and you can see in this four modules is available explore the azure for sap workloads on this discovery sap and microsoft partnership explore the your option with the sap on azure 
evaluate microsoft components knowledge check summary like this each and every module related is available guys you can observe here so very 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 uh, useful and learn from this place also who cannot afford on this certification outside learning and uh, microsoft is uh, providing this way and we can learn and very very good uh, like you know i can say one of the material uh, providing by microsoft through that also we can learn it's not only uh, this exam guys it's for all the exams they are providing like this for all the exams they are providing like this guys and very very helpful but entirely we need to read we need to understand if you are not able to understand if you get the any questions definitely uh, some guidance and uh, clarify your doubts purpose you can join the courses so that that particular microsoft certified trainers it is going to give the clarification and um, you know kind of he, they will give the more knowledge and practically they will show up everything but here entirely practically we have to perform ourselves that steps they will provide it but everything they won't provide it but uh, some of the steps uh, some of the practicals we can't see it here but it's a very very good uh, understanding wise it's uh, i'm refer this is a one one of the refer okay coming to other things azure virtual desktop specialty exam this is a one especially already who are working or learn in on premises vmware vdi citrix vdi or any other vdi like microsoft rds in on premises those all people and if you want to move or upgrade yourself in vdi in azure platform azure platform how microsoft is a providing vdi if you want to learn yes this is a course guys ag 140 140 that is a ag 140 azure virtual desktop specialty and especially this is also clearly mentioned these are the uh, languages wise is a retired prepared 28 2023 and english language wise is a getting the already uh, they update the some of the things october 27 2022 to and it's a clearly mentioned candidates for azure virtual desktop specialty certification or Uh, server or desktop administrators with the subject matter expertise in the designing implementing managing maintaining microsoft azure virtual desktop experience and remote apps for devices so entirely vdi concept guys totally application related and desktop related vdi concept related in this course what are the uh, skills or technology we are going to learn plan and implement the azure virtual desktop infrastructure plan and implement the identity and security and plan and main, uh, implement user environments and apps monitor and maintain the azure virtual desktop infrastructure these all those things we can learn from this course and this course also self paced learning is also available guys self paced learning also is available and this exam cost also 4800 rupees and uh, additionally you know gst and everything we need to pay depends on which country you can choose it that cost also we can able to see it guys and it's a right now retirement date none so it's not going to retire in um, it's a going forward it's a recently it won't go and uh, it's a long term exam wise we can use it this is a one okay so this is also one of the specialty exam pda related azure uh, like especially in azure platform how virtual desktop we can use it how to implement it and everything we can learn in this you can see that deliver the this experience they work closely with the azure administrators azure architects microsoft 365 and administrators and azure security engineers okay this experience guys it's a very helpful to you and learn on this and you will get the more knowledge how to implement in azure platform vdi concept in azure platform vdi how to implement it okay this is a one of the specialty exam in azure rack and one more exam azure support engineer connectivity specialty related this course is a especially exam code ag 720 720 720 so in this what generally we are going to learn on this troubleshoot especially troubleshooting related totally troubleshooting guys troubleshoot business continuity issues like dr related troubleshoot hybrid and cloud connectivity issues it's a site to site a spine to site and express route these all those things so it's a troubleshooting related and platform as a service issues and authentication and access control issues and networking related and vm connectivity issues 
these all those things separately only trouble shooting it's a in this course we learn only trouble shooting uh, we can learn guys we can learn only trouble shooting related so even microsoft saying that candidates for azure support engineers who are supporting projects especially supporting infra supporting projects who are working and those people can learn and get the certification it's a very very helpful guys and easily you can understand the issues and you can able to troubleshoot it you can able to troubleshoot it that is a way uh, they design this course and uh, release in the market this is the exam code is a ag720 ag720 guys and for this also you can see here uh, below self paced learning is a given self paced learning they given guys this exam cost uh, in united states us 165 dollars i can choose the in india let me show you india also 4800 rupees almost all exam cost is a 4800 rupees only guys okay and this is a totally uh, you can learn connectivity related totally connectivity nine modules is available intermediate administrator azure related totally and uh, very helpful support engineer guys okay especially in this you are learning about troubleshoot hybrid environments hybrid environments like on premises to azure platform in the both the platform you are using windows linux and integrate with the network through that and how to troubleshoot it how it's a communicating how is the integration and name relation and everything you will learn guys but especially troubleshooting related troubleshooting related we are learning here so including issues with the azure virtual machine virtual networks and connectivity between on premises and azure services they use various tools technology to diagnostic and identify root cause of complex issues complex issues guys for this course so this is a one of the course is a troubleshooting related especially troubleshooting related guys this is a exam code is a ag720 ag720 this is a exam guys this is also same cost this is also not retired any retirement date they are not given okay good let's coming into azure iot developer specialty this is a ag220 220 so in this course what we are going to learn on this iot means internet of things nowadays is a very very popular anywhere you can see uh, smart devices micro ovens or uh, sensor based totally is a over the internet they are controlling that business uh, like who are providing that devices they are controlling over the internet how they will control it how they will gather the information how they are troubleshooting or over the phone only they will guide you to troubleshoot your smart devices so how they are doing means this is a entirely iot devices integrate with the iot environment in azure platform how to do it so totally it's a very very good technology uh, nowadays and how to develop iot technology in azure platform iot technology in azure platform guys in this what we'll learn set up azure iot hub solution infrastructure how to set up the azure iot hub solution infrastructure in azure platform and provision and manage the devices so iot devices how to manage over the internet how to collect the data and everything we'll learn and implement the iot edge so there are a lot of uh, different regions and different devices it's available but how uh, just it will communicate and how to gather the imp information implement the business integration and process and manage the data monitor troubleshoot optimize the iot solutions and implement the security these all those things we can learn from this course we can learn from this course guys and this is a ag 220 that means ag 220 guys ag 220 so totally in this microsoft is a uh, providing it's a uh, who are uh, who can learn and uh, that is the thing also you can see candidate for this certification should have subject matter expertise implementing the configuration and coding task required to create and maintain the cloud and edge portions of iot solution responsible for deploying the physical devices how is the physical devices integrating with the iot solution especially i will give the one example guys in india especially i can say airtel so airtel dth if you are taken that devices if you are uh, first time installing 
that service in here come and the connectivity and after that he will call to someone and they will generate one code they will integrate in your iot devices it's a connectivity after that only it will work totally internet based for the internet it's communicating that satellite communication wise it will communicate it and collect the data sometimes if you call and they will you know uh, from there and restart the device or push the updates also that uh, device uh, updates also they will push it how they are doing everything through iot guys through iot this is a small example i given there are a lot of scenarios lot of ways we can use the iot devices nowadays everything is a smart devices smart so that's the reason it's a very very important guys nowadays very very valuable uh, uh, course this is a one i can say especially iot developer works with the architects so this iot developer work with the architect data engineers and other stakeholders ensure the successful business integration include the implementation of azure digital twin services azure digital twin services guys so totally iot related software development kit supported and sdk support languages everything microsoft is providing you can learn from this course even that self paced learning also is available here you can see here all the self paced learning also is available guys and we can observe here all the courses related that relevant modules everything they are providing here so ourselves also we can read and understand the what exactly how to learn and everything also we can do it there is a one more and last but not least that is a azure cosmos db developer specialty this is also uh, especially um, developers cosmos db like no sql db related it's entirely uh, this is also kind of you know you can see responsible for role including designing and implementing the data models and data distribution loading data into azure cosmos db database optimize and maintain the solution the provisional integrate the solution with the azure services design implement monitor the solution consider the security availability resiliency performance requirement and everything so here entirely they should able to interrupt the json c sharp java code and powershell because of that data needs to be load or something like everything it's a you will learn on this especially this is a no sql database it will come under no sql database how to integrate with the front end application how it's a import or export the data and everything you can learn on this this is exam uh, course cost also exam cost not course cost exam cost is of 4800 in india depends on which region you can choose it and you can learn uh, that uh, um, understand the amount also and you can see here what we are going to learn on this means design and implement the data models and design and implement the data distributions integrate an azure cosmos db solution optimize azure cosmos db solution maintain azure cosmos db solution these are the things guys and especially it's a, if anyone get the doubt what is this 35 to 40% in this module you will get the questions from this module that is a way they provided so especially design and implement the data models related you will get the question in exam point of view 35 to 40% of questions and you can see here self learning also self paced learning get started azure cosmos db for no sql and plan implement the azure cosmos db no sql and connect to azure cosmos db for no sql with the sdk software development kit and access and manage the data with the azure cosmos db for no sql sdks execute queries in azure cosmos db for no sql and see more you can see two more things are there define implement and index strategy for cosmos db for no sql integrate the cosmos db so many modules is available guys so many things are available here you can learn and to end about cosmos db so especially who are going to work on cosmos db or who are already working on and they need to get more knowledge on this yes it's a very suitable for you guys and this exam code is a dp420 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 guys these are totally azure track related specialty exams azure track related specialty exams and in this specialty exams what are the topics what are the skills or what are the technologies you are learning and due to that what you will gain what advantages you will get it i clearly given guys 
i hope is a uh, understand everyone if you have any questions anything you can comment in uh, my video so i will try to you know give the answers for that if you like this video please like and subscribe and uh, share with your friends and get the things guys thank you for your encouraging me thank you a lot